Well, the stage is very much set here at Mount Wanganui. For the FIVB Beach Volleyball Continental Cup. It's the final match of what has already been a historic day as New Zealand take on Vanuatu to see who takes the gold medal home and also qualification to round three, which is one round away from the Olympic Games. Well, my name is Louis Lett and I've had the pleasure to talk you through a phenomenal day's action here at the Mount, where New Zealand have just beaten Australia in the men's competition 2-0 to win the pool and go through to round three. Australia now have to go through to round two, but in the women's competition, well, it's a golden match because we are tied at 1-1 from earlier on in the day where, well, we had a win for Vanuatu in the opening matchup and a win for Julia Tilly and Shauna Polly in the second match against Linline Matawatu and Lottie Joe. And for Vanuatu, well, they've had a program in beach volleyball since 2007. And Milipata and Linai Matawatu won a bronze medal in the Commonwealth Games back in 2018 in Kulangata. They've also taken a fifth place on the World Tour at Long Beach, beating Agatha and Barbara. But now they split up and they're playing with younger partners and Milipata. Playing alongside Shizan Toko in this competition are out for the golden match after beating the Kiwis Francesca Kerwin and Olivia McDonald. So it's Julia Tilly and Shauna Polly up against Miller Patter and Shizan Toko for a place in round three. And a gold medal from this competition. Oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful day here at the Mount. It really is. Slight breeze all day, which has made it testing. But compared to the earlier rounds in the women's competition, the wind has died down. But Tilly and Polly, they won the NZBT New Zealand Beach Tour finals at the weekend here and it's a happy hunting ground for them here at the Mount. Vanuatu, that's the first match up here as the Vanuatu second team of Linline Matawatu and Lottie Joe played here at the weekend in the New Zealand Tour event as preparation. They're led by German coach Michael Bergman who's part of an FIVB beach volleyball development project. In Vanuatu, having moved there with his wife and young child, this is a big test for Bergman. As we meet the referees for this, the final game, Chris Tor and Tim Cleaver look like the officials that have been chosen to go in to this final game. It would be a dream for Vanuatu to make an Olympics, but it would also be a dream for New Zealand as well. But there's still so much work to be done and the crowd have been with us all day long. This is the second competition of the week after the NZBT Beach Tour Finals. But this just has the feeling of something very, very important for the beach volleyballing community especially after that result for Tom Hartles, Alani Nicklin, Mike Watson and Sam O'Day coming past Australia in a victory they will remember for a long, to long, long time to come. Oh, Chris De Fator from Guam and Tim Cleaver from New Zealand are in charge of this the final of the day here from the Mount and it's a very very crucial one Pata has been influential and inspirational for Vanuatu Commonwealth Games bronze medalist 
also a win the Patia FIVB Challenger in 2015 and her partner won for the future Toko and smiles all round for Shauna Polly and Julia Tilly there will be some nerves, that's for sure. But Julia Tilly, 30 now, who resides here in the mound. She rejoined forces with Sean Napoli at the start of the 2019 season after playing with Sean Napoli between 2013 and 16. There is Sean Napoli, 26 years old, residing in Hamilton now, driving down to the mount to train with Mike Dudson, a legend to one and all involved in the sport in this country. But this is what we would think to be a bigger test for Polly and Tilly in their opening game and Vanuatu really did put in the complete performance earlier on against Olivia McDonald and Francesca Kerwin they served well they put the Kiwis under pressure but this is a different game Tilly the target first out she shoots deep line but she misses and one of the standout performances today has been from Vanuatu in that opening game. It seems like a very long time ago, that's for sure. Miller Pata has been influential blocking, serving, spiking. But also with Toko, looks like a young threat for Vanuatu. And so far, this is the perfect start for the visitors. Tilly Polly yet to find a side out. They need one sooner rather than later. They can't miss three in a row. Unfortunately, it's turned wide of the mark from Julia Tilly. We might see an early timeout here, really, from New Zealand if they don't find a score. Well, Miller Patter finally makes an error. And just can't underestimate how crucial she was in proceedings earlier on today she used all of that experience that she's picked up by playing multiple world tour events she really has been around for some time the winning nations will go through today vc continental cup round two and three there's a host of teams that have already qualified for that on the turn looking to play a sneaky maneuver miller patter but Looks like it's gone wide, and patience is really working out for New Zealand here. Slow start, but the bump over to the side of the court. The two ball, not much wiggle room for Vanuatu, that's for sure. The winning nations, well, there's already a few countries who have already qualified. China in the men and the women. Indonesia also from the southeastern men. So this is the teams that New Zealand could be up against. More joy for New Zealand Iran. Qualified the men, Kazakhstan in the women, Oman in the men, Thailand in the women. And now New Zealand as well, the reverse knuckle. How about that one? Beautiful work. New Zealand, they're actually serving quite well here. There's loads of room over there on the angle from the patter just rolls the wrist away and it's Vanuatu that take the opening end. You can sort of feel the tension here on the beach at the mount. Great passing from Tilly. The set's quite tight from Polly. The net's doing all bits and bobs but it doesn't look like there's a net touch. It quite possibly could have been the ball in transition on the turn a bit of a tight touch there is a lot of tension in this game but it's a gold medal match to see who wins it's a gold medal match there's a net touch this time Tin Cleaver does see that from Milapata Milapata is not very happy about this one some tense moments from both teams this is going to be a much better look at the net referee from Guam Chris Tor sends everybody back to their marks Togo with no block 
really fast, athletic, dynamic feet. Vanuatu just in front here, but both teams are really fighting to get the edge. There's been some good plays and some tentative ones, and that's a good play from Tilly. Just lifts one over line, just through the body line. Serving deep on the angle, trying to make it difficult in this breeze to try and get the ball away from the spike. At Shauna Polly is just a little bit unbalanced and unstable in the air there, this 26 year old. Just drifting in the air and losing her height. Great passing from Tilly, great blocking as well from Miller Pat. Another opportunity in transition good coverage and good challenge to test the breaking blocker from the net because they're the one who's really gambling with their stability defensively some great shots of the action Dummy two ball, very well done from Miller Pata, but it's also exemplary from Pauly. But Miller Pata is certainly the one to watch here. Every went, everything went through her in that first game. It really did. Looks as if she's going to be trying to dictate the show here with Cherson Toko. She was in Toko, 22 years old, remember? This team won the Pacific Games just last year, so they've had some success. They've also had some success on the Continental Tour in Chinese Taipei. 17 in Quinshao at the three-star event. And then a couple of ninths as well. So it's, it's just something that's growing gradually, this partnership for Vanuatu. Shersin Togo to serve. Previously played with Lottie Jose. So just mixed up the pairs, Vanuatu, just to give that experience. Tilly is absolutely flying. Quick feet, good smooth arm. Ball flies to the target. Massive. My word, what a hammer that one is. Toko. Just sends an absolute ripper back with a big message to New Zealand to tell them not to get carried away. The patter with the serve. It's a quick one to the middle. Maybe taking the cut shot away here. No, she tries to drop it short. The one that you thought she didn't have. Julia Tilly. Put on the ground. Real soft, delicate swing. Very nice shot. Tight setting. Chance for a block. Pauly beaten in the joust with a little fist clench and a little celebration for Vanuatu because it's entertaining this. There's not much between these two teams. Marinis, for the long run, you can feel it. Would not be surprising if we go to three. Toko into the net this time. The patter first made her international debut in Adelaide in 2008. She's having to do the setting at the moment due to the fact that Toko is getting served, but it's a phenomenal career now for 
Miller-Patta. As we go to the technical timeout, it's a one-point game. Vanuatu just in front, but as we're well aware of, there's a lot of action still coming our way. Who knows what's going to happen here in the FIVB Continental Cup. It's game number five of a day that will be remembered for so many reasons already. New Zealand beating Australia in the men's competition. 2-0, no golden game needed in that one. What a performance they go through. They take the gold and then they just sail through to round three. No round two for New Zealand. But can the women join them? It's all down to this game. We're tied at one all. It's the golden match and the second game of the day for both teams. Knuckles in play once again. Miller Patter is just dictating the show out there. And now for the likes of Miller Patter here. She has this ability to control games because she's played at big events like Stavanger, Stad, Berlin, all these grand slams and that fifth at Long Beach. She really is experienced and she will feel at ease in the big occasion. And it's just whether she can ease her partner through these pressure situations. Scherzin Toko is going to be the target throughout. You would feel that the patter is just going to have to be setting and making some blocks, but that's a great swing. Very, very good work here from the youngster. And for the Kiwis on home sand, it's the perfect test for them. They haven't got as much international experience as Miller Pata, but together they are a massive threat and they're a very, very good side. Angles the core, it goes deep to the line. And the scores are back tied here. Polly and Tilly have won the last two stages of the New Zealand tour. And they've been held right here at the Mount. They love playing here. The slight breeze really does work into their favor. They're a great ball control team. Now they're in charge of this one for the first time in a long time. They've hustled their way around Sydney, Thailand, Vietnam as well. In system, Tilly Hammer's angle. Okay, now they really are cooking with confidence. Vanuatu are really going to have to watch out here. Into good zones, falling away with the set. But the set is absolutely perfect, on point. This is certainly enough to keep you on your toes. Everyone watching this one closely as New Zealand are looking to get both teams through to the next round. Knuckle over the top is super strong work. They love knuckling this ball around, Vanuatu. Usually it's when the set's quite tight to the net and you need to try and get some leverage over. It's also quite a quick contact, so you can use it to shift the play into different areas quickly. Tilly from the left side, she's been served a lot of balls in here. It's been finely read from Toko, but the break into the angle, hands up high. Not that break into that... What looked like the softer angle, but the body weight was going right the way through the ball. Nothing between the two teams. That's the one thing we do know. 
back in the rhythm, back set this time to let the ball drift across, but there's two on the line because they're reading that play. They're ready for it. There's a net touch somewhere against Toko by the looks of it. Let's have a closer look. Certainly was everything going through. The net almost went with it. 16s. Race to five if we're... 20 or we need to win by two clip knuckle to the line come on Shauna is the call from Julia Sh Shauna Polly parked up but not quite ready to react serving deep is a great serve chance to make a break here it's heavy swing from Tilly and then padding around is Vanuatu, but Polly is all over it. She's reading it back there, and she's made a great transition play. Really calm work. The crowd appreciating New Zealand and their top team in the championship. Off the net, steers it to the line. Seventeen all. Change of ends coming our way very soon. Toko goes for the cut shot, loses height, loses control. And there's a timeout from Vanuatu. There's a change of ends coming very, very soon as well as we've reached 35 points. But New Zealand have just come good at the right time. Can they finish the job off and take a one set to zero lead? In this mouth-watering tie, the men already through to round three, and they are going to be crowned the gold medalists here at the Mount after beating Australia. The women looking to do exactly the same. And the water looks really good here as the play gets super late in the day. time to the inside it's been a great phase of play for New Zealand they need to keep pushing that one's gone the right side of the antenna it's Vanuatu now under the cosh it's a short bump a little tape tickler but it's on two it's close fully loaded from Julia Tilly it's so close it's a game of inches and you do not get any closer than that. Vanuatu, arms in the air celebrating because they know they have just gotten away. They just had a huge slice of luck. Transition. Tentative play this time from Polly Tilly. And the advantage has been taken by Vanuatu. Now they lead by one and they need two to take the opening set. Much needed side out. The side out comes because Toko with the service error. And that's just pressure on young shoulders. Everything in the mind getting a bit fast but that's not pressure at all that's smooth and rhythmical and good decision making and with that Vanuatu have set point all the experience of Milipatu coming in knocking Tilly out of system so it's a free ball it's the first swing for the first set for Vanuatu it's been a fantastic day for this team. They have been brilliant in the opening victory of the day. Vanuatu 
Well, they've won the opening set here, Miller Pacha and her partner, she's in Toko. That gold medal is not far away for them. Well, this morning, they came past Olivia McDonald and Francesca Kerwin in two. Can Vanuatu and their first seeded team now do exactly the same against Tilly and Polly? They won't want this to go to three that's for sure New Zealand on home sand here at the mount after a historic day's play Second set. Vanuatu to serve. And what you feel is still the good end as the wind whispers across off the ocean towards the commentary position here. And the cheers uh, for Vanuatu because they've started this one exactly as they finished the previous. The pressure is still on the youngster. Still makes for a slightly good end as the wind is diagonal off the ocean, but into the faces of, slightly into the face of Vanuatu. But that's a bump cutty, gradually across court, just cutting the court in two. Little pause in play. Good start would do wonders for the confidence of New Zealand here as they look to go through to a third set. Go with the knuckle. Well seen from Tilly. It's very tired and a high knuckle once more. In line, Matawatu and Lottie Joe is who you can hear celebrating in the crowd. Little knuckle to the knees. Because the loss of stability from Tilly, it just meant that the ball was pushed on. The service error just keeps New Zealand in touch. Two service errors in quick succession. Go, go, go. 
angles the call, but swing into the line, Vanuatu. It's a great touch from Polly. It's going to be a scramble play, a third touch into the wind. It's just starting to blow Vanuatu with a free ball. It's a great approach, having to get back out. I mean, the, just to make a good approach, keep the ball in front of us so she can have full jurisdiction. It's very tight this time around. So Julia Tilly is in the game because the ball is so tight to the net. You have to back your blocker in when the ball is that tight. It's definitely the blocker's ball. Straight down. Remember, the winner of this game sends their country through to the third round of Olympic qualification. Tight plays again. And you have to give so much credit to Sherz Sintoko, the 22-year-old who's getting asked so many questions of her ability here, but she really is providing consistency. And she's very much complimentary to the style of Miller Pata. And it's Pata serving and blocking from Vanuatu. Looks as if they're pulling away now in the second set. Did he just passing tight because of the service pressure once more? We saw it this morning. McDonald and Kerwin also struggled with their passing due to serving or the serving of Vanuatu. And once more, New Zealand flirting with the net slightly too much. They're trying to be aggressive, which is exactly the right thing to do to give themselves options in offense. But the ball's just sneaking on slightly. And it just works against them. Vanawadi, what a run this is early on. 7-3, an ace turns to 8-3. And Vanuatu can just sense victory here already. Timeout call from New Zealand. They're running away with it. Vanuatu, it's not quite the last chance saloon for Tilly and Polly from New Zealand, but they're not far away. Vanuatu are playing relentlessly well here at the Mount. Freebies giving out by the in-venue host, DJ Tully, who's done quite the job, but moving the block around, chipping shows that there's been quite the element of thought in the timeout from New Zealand. Just going high off the hands and laughs in the crowd, having a wonderful time. It's a beautiful day here at the Mount. It really is a special place. Error. Great timeout from New Zealand. And look what's happened to the score there. Back to three from five. It's exactly what they needed to stop Vanuatu running away and qualifying for round three and taking the gold medal on their home sand. Remember, Tilly Polly train here at the Mount. Tilly living here and Polly driving in from Hamilton. But Vanuatu make one back as well. Breaking super late to the line. It's been spotted and dealt with once more. A service error back to three. Interesting here. Change of ends just brings a change of focus with the conditions doing something slightly different. They're just trying to beef that one into the wind. Miller Patter. Very good late turn. 
Toko just turns that ball enough to keep the ball out of reach. From Polly. It's late turns. Shows it for sure, but the speed of it's too quick. Still a four point lead. Needing a good pass here, New Zealand, to push forward into the latter stages. They can't let Vanuatu get too far away, but it's another chance for them. Whoa! Sharp snap back from Miller Pata. Maybe one of the steepest we've seen all day long. Just sends it back like a rocket. Cheers for the home team. Now service pressure off the shoulder of Tilly. Another free ball, another look at the court. Sees Polly retreating. And just a quick snap down the line. Six for New Zealand, 12 for Vanuatu. Full throttle for Vanuatu, really is. Tilly now on the right side off that change of sides. Reverse play back to the left and snap, but Vanuatu, as they were earlier on against Kerwin and McDonald, they consistent, good timings in the block. Nice play, though, from Tilly. Just has to try and find a sharp angle to try and score. It's not easy out there at the moment for New Zealand. Big deflection off the net band. It's the consistency, really, that's just been world class. Miller Pata. This time, Tilly off the net has to drive through. Angles are cool, but the ball's not quite there to go to the angle, so it has to go to the line. It's just drifting across Tilly, so it's difficult when the ball's drifting across you to try and shape the ball back to the line. The ball's dictating the player. Technical timeout has come round very quickly. Earlier on after the timeout, it seemed as if New Zealand were right back into this, but no, it's Vanuatu that has just started to pull away once more, and they're seven away from winning the gold here at the Continental Cup and going straight into round three. It's been a fantastic day's play here at the Mount. Fantastic week, really. One to remember. New Zealand Beach Tour finals earlier on the Continental Cup. This coming to a conclusion here is. Tilly again from the left side off the net. She tries to come back to the line, but breaking again. Patra is just running the show here. She really is. And every time she's just able to knock New Zealand out of systems. They can't get the perfect attack away. And now they're in a good place, Vanuwadi. They should put this one away. Tilly gets underneath it, but passing into those zones, what's making Vanuwadi really dangerous. They had to fight for that Vanuatu, but Looks like there's an interference call may which means that someone's gone underneath the net and just interfered with play so that's actually gone to New Zealand so it's back to six a little bit of luck for New Zealand but they really need to ride the wave and try and score some make some breaks maybe they need a defense there's one and it's a very rare mistake for Miller Pata. Patter again. Doesn't make two errors in a row, does she? This time through the centre, just stays high and fast with the arm and just guides it over the top of the block. It's a smart decision, especially after losing her height on the last play. Doubling up on the angle. 
We're just reading the play in New Zealand, but you can read the play. You can make the right play. doesn't mean you're going to make the point. T from the inside this time. Angles the call. Just nip back. And New Zealand live to fight another battle here at 15-10. If they don't start, they need aces, blocks. Vanuatu errors as well. This time they are slightly off the net, so they've knocked them out of rhythm. Chance to make a dig. They do make the dig, but the second play, second phase of play can't be completed. They make the break due to the fact that there's no point in blocking with Toko hitting from three, four meters off the net. So they decide to take that gamble and play two in defense. Five away, Vanuatu. Great scoop from Toko again, a little look, and there's also a touch on four touches. It looks as if there might have been a touch off the net in the first place. Sorry, off the block in the first place. This will give us a better look. Touch off the inside hand of Milipata, and eventually that's four touches the block, counting as a touch in this game. Trying to force that back, Toko. Great recovery setting, but there's one for New Zealand. Okay, now we can start sensing a comeback for the home team it's very very late in the day but certainly from here there's a change of ends and if they can start to really put the pressure on Vanuatu they might just be in the hunt Tilly serving needing to not only get the ball in but also trying to get out of rhythm and Looks as if Vanuatu in a good spot here to go off the hands. Polly's frustrated that she didn't quite penetrate with the hands. Blocking once again about penetration, taking time away from the spike. And that five-point lead has just opened up once more. That's one for three. That has to happen soon, though, for New Zealand. It really does. Clutch side out through the seam. Ball's always in front and then just snap back through the center of court. And the consistency is certainly the difference, as you can hear from the in house team. Complimentary of this performance from Vanuatu. Three away. Wrist away to the sideline. Really just changing direction of the play. Vanuatu, all at sea here. They're not in a bad position. They're giving really the hardest shot to Tilly, and Tilly takes that hardest shot and buries it four point game there's one off the hands and it's small margins for new zealand it really is vanuatu two away from what would be a fantastic result here at the mound but well, change the scoreboards. An error from Polly on the right side has just opened up match points for Vanuatu. Toko and Pata came through Co in the McDonald 2 0 earlier on in the day to set up this clash. And it has been a relentless performance from Vanuatu. Tilly just keeping the ball alive. Polly trying to get the ball onto the net, but hitting from way downtown. This is a really good opportunity for them to put this to bed. And there you have it. Vanuatu win the Continental Cup. First round here at the Mount. They've done it in style in the golden match. Haven't even dropped a set, but also a fantastic display from New Zealand. They take second and they go through to the second round of this competition. But for Vanuatu, they are one round away now from Olympic qualification. That's how it was sealed. What a day. Vanuatu and New Zealand qualify for the third round. New Zealand in the men, Vanuatu in the women, and New Zealand women go through to round two, and Australia men 
as well. What a day here at the Mount. A day that will be remembered forever, you'd think, especially because of the men's result. The men beating Australia a little bit earlier on. So that's it from the Mount almost, but a performance to be proud of from New Zealand. They have been brilliant throughout. As we look to go down courtside for an interview, but first, we're going to have a couple of quick ads. The most important thing for me in life is my family. We're so lucky that we get to enjoy lots of things together, and that's when we're best. We like to sponsor sports clubs and sports individuals. When you can play a small part in a Hamiltonian setting a world record, well, that's amazing. My family has been involved in building houses just on 50 years in the Waikato. I feel proud that we're leaving a mark on the region through building great houses and providing jobs. But it's not about me, it's about our team who are working extremely hard with a great commitment to deliver an amazing home. I know that GJs give you the best of both worlds. We're locals, we're available to talk to, but you also get security and value and accountability through a group. I want our clients to go home and say, we made the right decision to build with GJ Gardner. So I'm joined here courtside with the winners of round one of the Continental Cup, Vanuatu. Ladies, congratulations on a great performance. It must feel perfect to be going through to round three and to take the gold medal. Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, we are really happy uh, to take a gold medal. And uh, this is our first phase, so... Yeah, we're really happy to win uh, this tournament. Yeah. What was the difference there? It looked really consistent from the outside and in tough conditions, you served well, you sided out really well, but the ball control was really good. Uh, yeah, we managed the pressure and uh, the win is uh, very strong, but we managed to, to get a good reception and side out and yeah, good. Now you're one round away from the Olympic Games. Can you do it? Can you go all the way for Vanuatu and what would be an incredible story? Yeah, it's a, a long journey for us, but yeah, we get close to it and yeah, we, we can do it. And yeah, we are a strong team, so we can do it. Well, we thought you were excellent today. Congratulations and good luck in the later rounds and we hope you go all the way to Tokyo. Well, there you have it, Vanuatu go through to round three of the Continental Cup. They win here and they take the gold medal home. New Zealand also in the men's go straight through to round three. And it's a historic performance and really a week to remember here. The Continental Cup has come to the end and volleyball was really the winner. But from me, Louis Lett and the rest of the team, it's goodbye for now.